he's ready to go. He has his credit card in his hand, but you need to help him out. You need to make sure there's nothing on his way. There's no one right way to approach your customers. A lot of the most uh, experienced support teams, they know this. And even when they have a script, they will try to figure out what are the actual needs. They will listen to the different tones, personalities, attitudes in order to provide the right help. Uh, today, we want to look at it in a sales perspective. So how can we place these different customers into different stages of your sales funnel? That way is better for you and easier for you and your team to help your customer from point A all the way to point B and close the deal. This is success. Okay, first, the potential poll. This is a potential customer. It's not a lead yet. However, he found your company. He looked in the internet and he found your page. He probably knows your pricing and he wants to be convinced. This is the one you want to spend a little extra time with. So nurture the lead, warm it up for, for, for him to be convinced and make the right choice. Show them all the benefits that your product has in order for him to make the step from A to B. Next is the new Neil, or this is your new customer. This is the guy who paid for your services already and is ready to go. He can't wait to take advantage of your product, but he needs help. So you're gonna do a proper onboarding process with him. You're gonna hold his hand and show them everything that he can do with your product. Make sure you also leave a, an open option for him to contact you. Show them that you care and that you really want them to succeed through your product. Next, you have your impulsive customer or impulsive Iggy. This is my favorite because there's not much you need to do to convince him. He's ready to go. He has his credit card in his hand, but you need to help him out. You need to make sure there's nothing on his way. You need to make sure it's fast, quick, check out, and he's done. So make sure that you know the process so well that you can take Impulsive Iggy all the way to the checkout very fast. We also have a very common one, the discount customer, or we call him Discount Dan. He uh, doesn't care about how much you offer uh, or how many benefits your product has. He just wants a discount. He wants to pay less. And you probably can help him out with that. You probably have discount codes that you can offer. However, you are risking to lose Dan after a few months after your discount runs out. So make sure you pump it up. Give him an extra value. Make sure he knows that even when his discount is over, you're going to be there to help him out to succeed with whatever else he wants to do. Okay, and last but not least is your loyal customer or loyal Larry. You need to take care of Larry because he's going to spread the word. He's going to tell all of his friends that your product is the best. So make sure you help Larry out. What can you do? Make Larry a case study. Make sure you put Larry in your social media. Larry's going to spread that word all over the place and people's going to start loving your product more and more. So as you can see, there are many kinds of different customers. There are customers that they just come here and check what you're offering or people who's ready to buy your product. It's your job to identify how can you provide the best help you can. Uh, think about it for yourself. That's a great exercise. What kind of customer you are. We really want to hear from you. So make sure you leave a comment in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.